Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another trucking vlog. This is your boy Luis, aka Wolf Rider. You guys know the drill. You guys know the drill. So, last videos you guys saw, we delivered that load. You guys got my little dirty, but I can't really tell on the screen. Uh, we delivered that load of pipe on the last video. This is, uh, and we then headed to the closest load before we pick up our next load. Uh, we're on our way to Tulsa, which we'll pick up tomorrow. Sorry, I got the puppy. Eli tied up at the back of the trailer with some a long leash so he can walk around the grass back there. Some truck parking right here. So he's still scared of the loud noises and stuff, so I'm just keeping an eye on him. But um, anyway, um, we're parked here early. Um, one thing that I'm gonna plan to do on this video, just kind of show you what I've been learning lately, and is that unfortunately, when we do get our PMs done, as you guys know, I'll tell you, we get our PMs done at TSA, just mandatory with the lease or the LP. You got every 90 days, you got to be it. Uh, you got to get your not, your PM done over there at the main office in Nashville. Part of an owner op, expecting you know, a couple more years to pay off this truck. It is dirty, it's not washed, so I haven't washed it since the last video still, because it's the same day. But uh, we'll wash it later on the week. Uh, just hadn't, didn't have the clock running recaps and just got to get to where I got to get to. When we do our reset, we'll get time to give it a wash. So I'm going to deal with it as dirty as it is, but uh, we're going to grease on. So I stopped at a Walmart yesterday. Actually, where we stopped for the night, there's a Walmart right behind us. Didn't even realize I was going to be there, like literally right behind the truck stop. So uh, I got a grease gun, a manual one, nothing fancy. Um, I, later on, I'll get a better one. But something to start for the night for the for right now to get it greased um, the, the pit arm I needed to grease that definitely a lot of grease I'm actually have to change that arm pretty you know soon so I'm keeping an eye on it because um, it may have been out of grease a little too long and it's affecting it a little bit so my boy Edo6 driver check out his channel if you haven't um, I reached out to him sent him a video of what I saw that it was doing and he says normal just make sure it has a lot of grease on it um, but I'm going to keep an eye on it just in case because somebody else told me, oh, before that, that, you know, they were, they were, they had to change theirs and loves, I told them they had to change theirs because they was doing the same thing. So, don't know, I'm going to listen to my 806 driver, he's a lifetime mechanic and that's what he does for a living other than driving, but I'm going to keep an eye on it just in case. It's not an expensive part and it's not hardly to change either. I already looked that up just to get an idea, but I'd rather change it myself then pay triple to have somebody else do it that and save myself some money. So I'll probably order the part anyway as soon as I can, have it in and change it and have it on hand in the truck ready to change it. I need to get an impact gun, uh, which I have one, but I need to get a new battery for it because I hadn't used it in a long time and it messed up. But uh, don't spill. So I'm going to get dirty on the ground, get it done before I decide to go take a shower, before I get too lazy. And I've been, I slept two hours last night and up since 3.30 this morning. So. Before I crash, I'm going to just get it done um, and do the best that I can and moving forward every two to three weeks, I'm just going to start doing it like I've been suggested that I should be doing it and not waiting on the PMs every 90 days. I'm just going to start doing it myself and uh, keeping an eye, keep keeping an eye on what they're doing every 90 days. So uh, the truck has 300 and almost 265,000 miles at this point, three years in. And, uh, you know, I had this truck. If you're new to a truck, I picked up this truck, brand new LP truck and trailer truck had 37 miles when I got it so it, is, it was brand new so I've been the only driver on it I put all those miles in it myself and so I know it would give and I've watched all the maintenance so I'm just trying to before it starts paying off and for it for it last and to do preventive maintenance as best as I can and can afford so I don't have major issues as I'm getting closer to pay it off uh, and be able to save myself money on deductions and on the payment and stuff and be able to stack more for maintenance for bigger things possible in the future. But hopefully that's the goal so nothing major happens anytime before I pay it off. Uh, it still has some warranty when it comes to tranny and engine, but there's always certain parts that are limited warranty and most of those are under 300,000 miles, which like I said, we are 365, so we're way past that and they're not gonna be covered, anything else. Like their filters, which we already didn't change, or sensors and things like that, it may not be covered um, because it's past that 300,000 mile mark. So 
only kind of major components in the engine at this point, transmission for instance, the only thing that's covered on the warranty once you pass that 300,000 mile point. So it is up to me, it's up to you, if you're another TSHLP, uh, whether you just started or you've been by the same time as I have, it's up to you really keep it on the truck and learn to do the things that you can. And that's why for me it's good to network with people like 806 driver and other TSH driver have more experiences than I have with having an experience and ask some questions and learn as much as you can for everybody. So if you know something I don't, please leave it on the comments and uh, let me know what you do to your truck or anything else that I should keep an eye on that you've experienced maybe the hard way to learn it, pass it on so maybe myself and some of us in the comments can learn from your experiences. That's the only way we learn as we go on the road. Should help each other out, not you know close the gate and like I'm not telling anybody. So anyway, don't know how long the video is gonna be. Probably not very long, but uh, that's what we're doing right now. Go on the shade, buddy. You got water back over there. He has a bowl of water back over there, so I don't, I don't, I don't know why he doesn't want to go over there. But it's the first time I put him on that long leash. Hopefully nobody else tries to park around here because he hates, he's still scary with the point. And it is hot, but he wanted to be outside, so I'm giving him the chance to be outside. All right, guys, so yesterday I put grease at these points right here. Um, right there, pit arm. Is it pointing? Yeah, put grease on there. Put some uh, grease on there. That's my concern. This is moving. This is what I was concerned about right here. So, but I'm going to start going under and just... Uh, putting some grease on this. So I'm gonna get on the ground back there, but we're gonna start on this side. And like I said, I'm just gonna put you in spots as I can, but we're gonna climb under there somehow and start over here, so hold on for me. All right, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Can't see the screen, but um, this spot right here, super dry, but I'm, I'm gonna say, Bought this little adapter. On there, do the same thing on the other side. See that? It's a messy job, they say. Well, definitely it is. I'm trying to make it not as messy as possible. But again, it's my first time doing it. And uh, on my own, I'm just looking around, make sure I'm not missing a spot over here. And we got that one, we got this one. And we got this, which is up here. And I'm trying not to put grease on the camera. And I put some grease on y'all. Cause that would be annoying for me. I'm gonna cut the video as I go, depending on how it comes out. Cause I'm not sure, I can't see what you guys see. And I don't want to have my phone on me to kind of see the bigger picture at the moment. I'm just trying to get this job. It's hot, it's about 90 something degrees. I think it's like 94 degrees out here. The only thing that's helping out is uh, it's Kansas, so it's high winds. But it is hot, it's a hot job. You guys can see me, I'm crawling guys, I'm crawling. Guess what your death filter is. You guys, it's a 2022-2680. See how see transmission. All right, let's keep going back. Let's keep going in. Oh, let's come this. I got the APU or the EPU running for Mr. Eli in there, so it's a little bit of water leaking back here, so I don't think it's anything else behind me. Oh. I've seen videos where Let's see where that house is.
Where is that hose? I'm just, uh, sorry, I was that close. Transmission's right up here. Ah, there it is. I see it. Let's see if I can, my gloves got grease. I'm trying not to put it on the camera, guys. You see that little hose right here? Little nipple right there, hanging up. I'm racing it, so you see it? That, yeah. That little dinkling thing. That's where we put it. That's where we put it. So, we're gonna put a couple of pumps in there. Keep scooting you back. Sorry guys, this is a dirty job. Again, I'm not a mechanic. Let's see. At least I can control it a little better. Let's see, what's that right here? Yep. There we go. So this little nipple right here, I just clean it up so I can see it. See on the videos, this cap I guess wasn't there and the connection was way in there without a hose. Give it a couple of pumps to see. That's three, four, five, six. All right, let's see. Drive shaft. In the drive shaft in the back, I think I'm supposed to. I'm looking down here. I can see these points on the engine a little better from down here too. Should have come this way. That would have been a little bit easier. All right, let's keep moving. I'm glad for the win right now. I'll tell you that much. Some got it. Some some guys getting some tire work done. I think. Taking you with me. Wow. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to clean this camera. <laughs> You guys know this blue thing right here? That's your air dryer. That we, sh we did a video and changed that up already. That water you see dripping behind me, that's from the air conditioning. So we got the EPU on for Eli and the little drippers right there. So no worries. This doesn't have any, I don't see any nipples over there on the dry shaft. I've seen some videos where they have it. So that's what I was wondering. Not there. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna stop, I wanna, wanna cut it up, but we're gonna go to the drives. See you fucking get them from back here. I don't know if I can fit under this. I'm not as skinny as I used to be. So don't judge me. Don't just me. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. Seems like I can fit. Let's see, can the billy fit? Oh yeah. Uh. Still fit. All right. Now where's our points over here? Again, I don't know exactly where they're all at, guys. So, if I'm wasting my time over here, I guess I am. Well, I can see the fifth wheel pretty good. From down here, which I also I plan to disconnect the, the trailer. Whew. My neck hurting. That's all. All right. Am I supposed to do this from the top? Yeah. All right. So I learned my lesson. Came down here for nothing because we're able to get the, uh, no, I can't get them from the top. Not where the trailer's attached. That is the problem. I need to pull forward, disconnect the trailer so I can get to the drives. That's why I'm down here. Well, 
we encounter a problem and that is landing gear won't go down again it was working fine the last pm and the bolt broke you guys see that that's what goes in between the landing gear handle it's just snapped snapped but it doesn't want to they don't want to turn to go down it gets to a certain point very little and then it uh it doesn't want to go on like it's stuck i've greased both sides but what i think is plenty of grease on both sides but uh you don't want to budge any any much further so that's a problem i'm going to try to get the drives from under the trailer and uh yeah i was using a screwdriver to try to force it that's where it goes but it's not working so that's another issue we'll have to handle it later i don't need to disconnect it right now oh man it's not one thing is another all right well we're gonna do what we can on the drives i may not be able to put you guys to see what i'm doing but there's really no space i don't know what angle um but I got to change the container on this with the second one. I got, I was buying three and now for some reason I just bought two. So, but I think two will be fine for what I'm doing for the first time. A little frustrated about this though. That's friggin' annoying. And also the fact that it doesn't look like they greased it well last time if they put barely anything in there. The grease looks old. And that may have cost my landing gear to get stuck on the inside, which means I probably have to take that apart. Go on YouTube school, uh, take it apart and see what I'm looking at. But I'm not doing that here. I'm not doing that now. <sighs> Crap happens. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue over here. Yeah. You guys let me know if I miss anything. Well, fingers crossed. No more issues. No issues. I say no more issues, but yeah, definitely no more issues. Landing gear is an issue. Take this gloves off, wash this out. Lessons. Lessons. Just doing what I can, guys. Just a little video. Again, I'm not a mechanic. Just uh, lease up, trying to maintain my equipment, and learning as I go. And working with actual mechanics and peers. So, you guys let me know in the comments if I probably should have done something different. But I'm gonna let you go from here because uh, I can't grab the camera. And I take this off and stuff. So, until the next one. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hope you learned something, or maybe help you figure out. Or maybe you laughed at me or whatever. <laughs> if I entertain you for a few minutes, hit that like button. And maybe consider subscribing. We'll burn it out. Peace.